doing? Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live. We're gonna be playing some more NU using the same Life Orb, uh, like Grass Knot Mawile team, which is really, really cool. Having a lot of fun with it. And, uh, my friend Brendan probably has Rex by now. Um, because, you know, he'd been in that kitchen cooking with these Rex. That was bad. Anyway, we have a match, um, versus Graviton Prime using a pretty interesting team. Um, not that it's bad, it just has some, like, interesting things, like Dunsparce and, uh,. This is generally outclassed as a fighting type, but you know, that's okay. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna lead straight away with Scyther, just because I, if I can pick up some momentum on turn one, that's super helpful for me, as he does end up leading with the Primeape. Um, not really in the mood to take a Stone Edge or an Ice Punch, so I think Seismitoad is a pretty safe pivot right here, because if I can get out my rocks, it really helps me threaten his team, as uh, he ends up going straight away for the Stone Edge, works fine by me. I can go straight away for my rocks, as I was saying, because if he does try to go into his, um, what's it called? If he does try to go into his Togetic, um, then I can knock off its Violite, get up my rocks again as he defogs, and, uh, you know, it's just a good situation. He goes into Miss Magius right here. Um, Miss Magius? Miss Magius? I'm going for the knockoff either way, just because I don't really want to give this thing leeway set to set up, and also once I get rid of this thing, yeah, there we go. Once I get rid of this thing, it's a whole lot easier for me to sweep with, um, a whole lot easier for me to sweep with Scyther, because this speed ties with Scyther, and I don't really want to have to rely on winning a speed tie, so, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and fire off another knockoff right here, as I wouldn't be shocked to see an attack right here as he is more than likely sub nasty plot but he ends up going out into his own seismitoad which is a-okay because this looks like a pretty free switch into my boy mawile uh this hits 187 and i think it's uninvested um so mawile probably will won't be able to outspeed which is a little bit unfortunate um, so that kind of makes me reconsider, but I'm gonna go into Mawile anyway, because I really highly doubt he's clicking Earth Power here. Um, we know he's not offensive because he has lefties, but I can just go for the Grass Knot straight away right here. Getting rid of this is so nice for Scyther. Helps it so much long term. Um, as that doesn't even kill. This dude is spadef. Don't burn. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go straight away for the, uh, Iron Head right here, because I really feel like he's gonna try to switch out. Um, as he does end up switching out to Dunspar, so you know, if I can just get some chip damage here, I end up getting a crit, um, which I guess is kind of revenge in a sense for, um, the whole burn situation, which is kind of unfortunate here, but you know, Mawile did its job, it, it weakened the counter on his team to Scyther, so once I do get an SD up and I get rid of Primeape, it's looking like a snack wrap. Um, either way, I feel like, yeah, I, wow, Mawile is strong, man, <laughs> um, a little unfortunate he's able to take me out right there, but I can just go straight away into my Hariyama, and I'm clicking knock off right here, um, because I really lose nothing by knocking off, because I either remove Dunsparce's leftovers, or I, uh, get rid of Miss Magius, he just ends up going to Seismitoad, which is a good middle ground to sack this thing, I can just knock him out with the bullet punch, this is resisted, but I, I trust that Hariyama is not that weak. Um, and, you know, I'll even up the score at 5-5, so very, very good for me. Um, we'll see what he decides to go out into next. Wouldn't be shocked to see Togetic right here, but I'm kind of thinking Primeape. He doesn't end up going out into Togetic, though, so I'm knocking off this thing's of Eyelight, um, because this thing doesn't get a physical fairy move. Uh, the, the play rough Togetic. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's promising. End up getting rid of that thing's of Eyelight. as it ends up going for a nasty plot, so this is nasty pass, and, uh, it's, it's nasty. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go straight away for the bullet punch right here to get off some chip damage. Um, is that did 37%? That's respectable. So he just ends up going for the roost. Um, no phasing. That's an issue. Um, is bullet punch gets the base 80. So I guess that is technically stronger. Um, because close combat is resisted. So I, I feel like spamming bullet punch is my best play right here. Um, as if he really wants to try to get mul multiple nasty plots in, that's fine. Like, this is a pretty nice tank here. Uh, so, not really too worried about anything that he would want to pass into. He ends up going for the Gleam. That hurt. That really hurt. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go for the CC right here. Um, kind of predicting this Roost. Um, also, just scouting damage. Please don't do a lot. Uh, he roosted. That's unfortunate. Am I going to lose the game to this thing? That's mildly embarrassing. Um, but, you know, Togetic is kind of an interesting mod. Kind of underrated. Um, 
hopefully Scyther can take it out with an Aerial Ace, or I can uh, knock it out with an Ice Beam from your boy Claydol. Um, also, I don't really need Hariyama for the remainder of this match, because, uh, you know, Miss Magius has a hard time versus this thing, so... As long as I can weaken this thing to a reasonable degree, I think we're doing okay. Um, because Claydol can just come in, click Ice Beam, yeah, alright. I'm not as worried about this thing anymore, I can just keep spamming Bullet Punch if he wants to get to plus 6, so be it, um, as I'm assuming that's what he's trying to do right here, but at the same time, like, oh, why? I'm fairly certain Ice Beam from Claydol plus Aerial Ace from Scyther will be able to knock this dude out, so, um, looking good for me in that sense. Uh, can you just, can you do a thing already? This is, like... Was it worth the extra 2% right there? Right, if You're not going to be able to stall me out of bullet punches, friend, if that's what you're trying to do. Um, so we finally clicked Gleamer. Thank God. All right, now I'm going to go into a clay doll right here and just click the Ice Beam. Because uh, does clay doll get a kill right here? The Almighty Lord? Is it is it killing stuff? Because um, I, I feel like he's just max HP, max special attack. Um, that gets a crit to 66% as he goes for the Roost. Um, this is not as strong as I had hoped it would be. I f I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock right here. Um, just trying to scout how- like, Togetic is a weird mon, because it can do a lot defensively. Psy Shock is doing 34, uh, Ice Beam's doing 40, so I feel like I can just continually click Ice Beam and stall him out of Roosts. Um, I feel like that is my best play. You know, if I get a crit, then I get another crit. If I freeze him, then, you know, sucks to be him. <laughs> so, we'll see what this- 42, sick. Um, I, I really don't see what he's trying to accomplish right here, because no matter what, even if, like, so envision the scenario. Wow, that was, 42 was a low roll. Um, envision the scenario. Uh, he gets up to plus six, and ends up like, okay, see, like, what did that do for him right there? Because, uh, please tell me Aerial Ace takes this out. Scyther, I know you're weak without, like, because you're not banded or whatever. But please tell me you can do 38% to a Togetic. Don't let me get swept by Togetic. I'm, I'm going to be vastly disappointed in myself if I end up losing to this. 38%, there we go. That's what I needed. Um, so I'm assuming a switch in right here is going to be... Primate. Um... Yeah, he goes into Prime Ape here. Is, if, I'm assuming this is Scarf. I really am. It's gonna suck if it's not. Um, part of me wants to Roost, because if he goes for the CC, then like free SD is for me, and that's always great. Um, and he could miss Stone Edge too, if he does go for that. And I feel like he's gonna U-turn, so I'm gonna click Roost. If he Stone Edge is here and just plays straight up, that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, but then again, Crodino could just put the team on his back and win from here. Ends up going for the gunk shot, doesn't get the poison, that's very, very nice for me. Um, so it's looking like I can fire off an aerial ace. Getting this thing out of the way is very, very helpful. If he does switch, something is F. <laughs> yeah, uh, this thing should die. Yeah, that thing ends up dying, so very, very nice for me. Um, plus Scyther can roost versus Meganium and versus Dunsparce. So I can always just go out in a Seismitoad here, sack Seismitoad, and I think I can win this game. Goes into Meganium, that was a little bit of a questionable play, I think, because um, you ain't outspeeding this. What is this thing even going to do to me? Is it just kind of toxic? I kind of want to SD. I'm going to SD. Um, because even if you like leech seeds or whatever, then, you know, death. As he ends up going for the counter. Nice! Alright. <laughs> right here, he's just going to forfeit. And we are only 9 minutes in. I feel like we can grab one more. The ladder's not updating. So, we're going to go ahead and try to grab another one. Uh, we shall see. Although, counter Meganium. Pulling the innovation out of the back. That's pretty neat. I may make an NU team around SD Meganium if uh, the f these stupid fire types get banned. Because I feel like they'd be pretty cool. Anyway. I was about to pause it until we get one, but we end up getting one. And I know this team, because Brennan was like, I've hit it like seven times on the ladder, and it's stupid, and I'm probably going to lose to it. Um, because I feel I feel like this is rock, yeah, this is rock polish right on. Uh, that's one rain setter. 
but I feel like that's just also a rain setter and sweeper, and these are two rain sweepers, so let's see. What am I going to lead with right here? I could lead with Mawile and just, just try to get a play rough or iron head off because Mawile actually does put in a fair amount of work versus his team, so I'm going to go ahead and lead with that as he ends up leading with his ride on, which is great. Um, I will outspeed this thing no matter what, and he is going to take a super effective sheer force iron head. Let me hop over to this battle real quick. X out of this, and yeah, I, I'll probably register my account before um, the episode go, goes live tomorrow, so I don't get my account stolen again, because if you guys didn't know, that happened to me on the suspect ladder for uh, the OU, for one of the OU suspect tests. Ah, I just got his rocks up nice, looking like an easy to it KO. I, I have to click Iron Head here, right on his stupid bulky, by the way. Um, I also feel like I have to play very offensive this match because, and like I have to play very risky in order to win because it is a relatively poor team matchup for me, um, just because my Seismitoad will get overwhelmed pretty quickly. Um, I'd imagine we'll, we'll see him switch into something like Seismitoad right here because having right on in the back is very nice to uh, stop a late game Scyther sweep if that's what it does come down to. Although, wouldn't be shocked if you foddered it here because we because Scyther can be handled pretty well by a lot of his other mons on his team, just like purely because he'll outspeed him, and Scald is pretty threatening, and he has like three potential Scald users, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, he's not making a move, so we're going to pause it until he does, and we will be right back. This dude Mawile's been hitting the weight room, on oh, god. Ironhead did 53%, I don't even have to risk going for play rough, I can just click Ironhead again. Um, as he goes for the rain dance, he will go down to that. So Mawile already net in one kill, um, although it's going to be forced out right here. And I'm probably going to save Mawile because Mawile does just like r straight run over his team. Because um, that does not, like pretty much nothing switches into a player of plus sucker at this point. So if I can keep Mawile around and find opportunities to get it in, maybe versus Lipard, that's super helpful. Also, potentially versus Zatu if it's not Heat Wave, which Heat Wave plus Rain seems a tad counterintuitive. Um, I would imagine he's Grass Knot Zatu to lure in Seismitoad and knock that out, because that is mildly difficult if it is like Rindo, um, which, you know, is like next level Rain counter team. <laughs> um, anyway. So we'll see what he decides to go into right here. He has been taking a while to make his plays, so I'm going to hit him up with that timer, though. And, uh, you know, we'll see. If he does go, he goes into Seismitoad, which isn't that big of an issue, I don't think. If he's physical, then I'm hosed. If he's special, then I think we're looking okay. Kind of want to just sack Claydol here, because it doesn't do any work besides potentially spinning. But... What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into my own Seismitoad because I feel like he's special. And this allows me to scout him, prevents him from going for the water move as he ends up going for the EQ and he's physical. Thank God I didn't go into Hariyama right there. That's super helpful. So right here I'm going to go straight away for the knockoff because if he tries to pivot into Zatu and that thing loses its item, that's super helpful. And uh, I, I could fire off a rain boosted Scald if I want to right here and try to get the burn because this will be Swift Swim. Um, but if he does, like, at the same time, if he goes into Ludicolo, that losing its life orb is actually pretty nice, because then it has a harder time versus Yama, um, down the line. So, things are looking up. I feel like I can win this matchup. He, we're just trading knockoffs right here. <laughs> so, hopefully that knockoff means that he can't kill me with Earthquake, and I'm just gonna fire off a Scald. As, as nice as it would be to get rocks up right here, I don't really think it matters, and I don't want to burn a turn as he goes into Zatu, so, you know, we'll see. He still does have quite a few turns of rain left, because he went for the rain dance turn 3, so that'll expire at turn 8. Um, he will, unfortunately, be able to knock me out with that hit right there. Um, Mawai will definitely not be able to kill. <laughs> so I'm going into Adeno right here, and, uh... Do I just Mega Evolve and go for the rest? I feel like that's a play I can make. Because this is going to hurt, no matter what. And if I can get a few CMs up, that's super helpful. If he does go immediately out into the Lipard, after I uh, do reveal the Calm Mind, he goes for the Hydro. That's unfortunate. <laughs> 
So, I'm gonna go for the Sleep Talk right here because if he reveals Rain Dance, unfortunate. Uh, if he goes into Lipard, he risks getting donked by a Dazzling Gleam. He goes for the Poison Jab, that hurt. Um, and I get a Dazzling Gleam, which is super nice because two of those will kill, I do know that for sure. I can fire off another Sleep Talk, and if he fodders this and goes into Lipard, I lose absolutely nothing by going into Mawile. Um, because then this thing can't get on court and I can click play rough and get a kill, which is very nice. Um, which is kind of one reason I don't really like that he saved right on. Um, because, you know, I, I would rather him not have that to just fodder and then get one of his rain sweepers in for free. And if that, like, didn't make any sense at all, I totally understand. Um, end up getting a rest right there. But I'm just gonna CM. I don't really think I lose anything by it. Um, Psychic will hurt, but it, I don't think it'll do a lot. I'd imagine this is just gonna come in instead of rain. Although, you know, well, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. One mon that I've been exper- that I've- heard a lot about and been wanting to try is um counter lead or like anti-lead vivalon because it sleeps something it does a lot of damage and then it ideally endeavors something if it's holding a sash and like weakens checks to stuff so i think one way that could work is weakening fire types for SD Meganium. I'm like, I'm still thinking about this SD Leaf Guard Meganium team because I feel like that would be a really cool idea because you can freely switch into Scalds. So he goes for the Rain Dance. I just get up a free CM though and uh, I feel like I got a Gleam right here because it picks off whatever Rain Sweeper switches in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, uh, yeah, he does end up going for the U-turn right here. Um, so he just ends up forfeiting because that's an unwinnable game for him at that point. So, um, you know, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please make sure to leave a like because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but I guess I did. Um, do you guys want, like, the gems to be reinstated in the games, like Fighting Gem, Rock Gem? Um, I personally never got to experience them that much because I didn't play a whole lot of Gen 5 competitively. Um, but you know, what are you guys' thoughts on that? With that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.